I'll teach you to talk back to me. Well, look what we have here. Just in time for our little party. Hmm, looks like this one's finished. But I'm not. So what do you think? Want to take his place? See you haven't changed. Can't say the same about you, idiot. Still wasting your life in that shithole? Not anymore. A lot's happened since then. What are you doing here anyway? Thought you were with the outlaws. Used to be. I'm done with those assholes. Berserkers are in charge of the fort now. To hell with that. Then there's Baxter up at the crater. Fucker wanted me to work my way up from the bottom. You believe that? My own people. Figure I might as well hang out with the crazies here. Looks like you got a good thing going. Hey, they're a bunch of violent psychos. Of course they love me. You know how it is. We both know how to land on our feet. Still hanging out with that little tramp? Look who's talking. Heard you two had a kid. Yeah, it's been, uh, interesting. Yeah, that's one word for it, I guess. Whatever. None of my business. What about your brother? Still in touch with him? Logan? Screw him. Ever since the Berserkers kicked him off the throne, he's just another asshole. Hangs around the coast these days. Still acting like he's a duke, though. Murder, robbery, the huge. Who cares? I have other plans. Like what? The Morcons might be crazy, but at least they get right to it. Something needs doing, they get it done. No fucking around. Sounds like the perfect match. Not the smartest bunch, though. Could be taking over the world, but they'd rather hide down here. You ask me, they should have climbed out of this hole a long time ago. It's like they're scared shitless of everyone out there. What do you mean? What they need is an emissary. Someone to tell the other factions how it's gonna be. Since when do you care about other people? I used to care about you, didn't I, asshole? Or have you forgotten already? Anyway, things have changed. It's a whole new game. What kind of game? You been out there lately? There's giant towers all over the place. War, plagues, all kinds of shit. Of course, the Morcons have no idea what's going on. The odd Vandal comes back from a raid with a scrap of information. It's not enough. We have to start talking to the other factions. Either that or we get slaughtered. I need people I can trust. I could really use someone like you. Are you kidding me? I'm listening. Renegades and anyone willing to fight the invaders in their towers are gathering at the Bastion of Caracas. Yeah, I heard. Why do you think I was telling you my plans? But first, you'd have to do something for me. What? I help you with your crazy plan. You help me with mine. Careful, Jax. Uh-huh. And just how much trouble am I getting into? No big deal. Just the other factions... Well, they kinda have issues with me. Wow. Really? See what I mean? 
I need someone who knows how these assholes think. Someone who can get me in the door with them and have my back if things go south. Okay, then. I help you with your diplomatic mission. You join the fight at the Bastion. Ugh, I don't believe this. Deal. And you can keep that mouth of yours shut. That's part of the deal, too. We'll see about that. Okay. Let's see what group of freaks you put together at the Bastion. I bet it's a big old bunch of losers, drunks, and deadbeats. You'll fit right in. Guess I'll be seeing you. And quit staring at my ass! Ugh, you suck. So, you want to let me in on these diplomatic plans of yours? Well, first I've got to do some intense training. I like to be fight ready before I try talking to people. Then you're gonna take me to the faction leaders. What, all of them? No, dummy, one at a time. We'll start with Baxter. Already know what I'm gonna say to that bastard. Oh, and all that shit about joining the fight at the Bastion or whatever? Sure, fuck it, I'm in. I'm pretty sure I'll end up regretting it, but hey. Baxter? You sure that's a good idea? Relax, it'll be fine. That's what you're there for. Thought you could take care of yourself. I can, you moron. But I'll never get past his fucking guards to talk to him if you're not there. Do you understand now? And just what are you going to say to him? Let me worry about that. Do your thing and get me in front of the Duke of Ateris. You'll find out then. I don't believe this. You want to be the Morkon Emissary? Open up diplomatic relations with the other factions? You think I'm just good for ripping out throats. This is about survival, man. Morcons know how to kill, but they don't have the brains for negotiation. Someone's gotta step up. Might as well be me. Yeah, but I mean... What? Well, you're rude, aggressive, and never see anyone else's point of view. Oh yeah? Well, fuck you. Not exactly the best qualities for a diplomat. You wouldn't know diplomacy if it spit in your face. Are you Mr. Self-Control now? More like Mr. Fuck the entire world. You think a punch to the face is a fucking icebreaker. Okay, point taken. Damn right, so don't go lecturing me. You're not worried Baxter might think this is the perfect opportunity to get rid of you? I'm not scared of him. I hope you're not trying to convince me you like it here. Is something bothering you? No. Other than freezing my ass off, I love it here. Keeping moving helps. These wire frames will come in real handy. Why is that? Is it because they're a source of scrap metal? Typical. You have no imagination at all. If some idiot holds back information, just drag him up there. Break his arms and legs and let the sun take care of the rest. After a few days, he'll be singing like a bird. Guarantee it. I'd rather punch him in the face. It's faster. Ah, like I said, no imagination. Huh. Well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? You're Logan's twin sister, aren't you? <laughs> How is that shithead? The herpes-laden motherfucker who took over my fort and threw me out on my ass forever ago. Yeah, sounds like Logan. So what? And before you ask, I haven't had shit to do with him in years. You wanna rip him a new asshole or three? Go right ahead. He's somewhere on the coast of Caracas. Thanks for the info, darling, but anyone with more than a brain cell knows where he is. The problem is getting to him before he sees you coming. I've sent some of my best fighters after that asshole, and he's ripped them to shreds. Yeah, he's a tough bastard. He sure is. So, what's new with you? By the looks of it, you've cozied up to the Morcons. You know, I don't 
have a Morcon gal in my stable. I always wondered how a freaky fanatic would be in the sheets. <laughs> hmm. And I always wondered what a man would look like after I cut off his dick. Touché. Well, you're basically useless to me, so if you don't mind, fuck off. Nasty's here on a mission from the Morcons. She needs to talk to you. I can speak for myself, thanks. Okay, Nasty. I'll listen. What in the ever-loving fuck do the Morcons want with me? It won't be long before the Vandals plow in this pathetic shithole of yours and wipe that smile off your smug face. <laughs> so, what are you doing hanging with this little shit? Uh... <laughs> you two are pretty fucking funny, you know that? Seriously, I haven't laughed so much in my whole fucking life! <laughs> I should rip your guts through your asshole for talking to me like that. <laughs> but you know what, you pathetic little dumb fucks? I think you've suffered enough. <laughs> you two should stick together. There's not a half a chance in hell of surviving without each other. <laughs> <laughs> Asshole. We should probably get out of here. That could have gone better. Tell me about it. I should have punched him in the balls. So what happened to being diplomatic? Sorry, don't care. He deserved it. That asshole got on my nerves. It might be time to rethink this plan of yours. Can you grow a pair, please? I know what I'm doing. If you say so. So what's the next step of this brilliant scheme? You'll find out when I'm ready, jackass. Right now, I feel like getting in some combat practice. Well, let me know when you're ready. Oh, I will. Hey, numbskull. I'm ready for the next audience. <sighs> so what lucky faction leader are we talking to this time? Judicator Reinhold. A trade deal with the Morcons could really help the clerics out. How are you gonna get them to trust you? The clerics want to save humanity. The Morcons, not so much. Just get me in there. I know what I'm doing. I brought Nasty with me. Right now she's a, uh, Morcon messenger. Ah yes, Nasty. I remember her. A commander who valiantly led our troops against the Alb Offensive in Ignodon. What can I do for you today? Is it true that you clerics got yourselves kicked out of your precious horde in Ignodon after all? Yes, well, one of the many burdens we must bear these days. It pains us to think of such a loss, the technical advancements we achieved in the horde. And yet, if we had stayed, we would likely all have perished. One of those invader strongholds landed right at the entrance to the city, destroying almost everything. <laughs> Is that the real reason you left the Horde? Isn't it true that when the Albs invaded, they kicked your asses so hard you ran straight for the hills? Careful now. I cannot deny what she says. It was a choice we made. It was our only choice if we wished to ensure our survival. Ha! You gave up at the first sign of trouble, and after all those fools put their lives on the line for you. Did you come here purely to insult us? Insult a coward like you? Waste of breath. What's left of your pathetic little tin man army will be a heaping pile of scrap metal before long anyway. If it's not the Alps that do it, it'll be the swarm of creatures those invaders are spewing all over. That is enough! This conversation is over! Hey, 
Hey, look, we've got company. Get over here! I'm right here! That fucking cleric. Sending his machines after us? Why'd you have to provoke him? Oh, now you're on his side? They came after you too, you know. You were the target. I was just in the way. Whatever. That your idea of negotiation? Getting everyone so pissed that they try and kill you? Hey, back off. If people can't deal with a little truth, that's their problem. Oh, bullshit. You were just looking to start a fight. As if I asked for your fucking opinion. Unbelievable! Just keep in mind, when people get pissed at you, they try and kill me too. Yeah, yeah. I'll let you know when I'm ready for the next faction, okay? For now, I just want to train and let off some steam. Guess I can't talk you out of it. Don't waste your breath. Hey, I'm ready to do some more diplomacy. So who's gonna try and kill us this time? What about talking to Kaya? She's the head of her faction, remember? Nah, let's save the Berserkers. I want to try the Albs first. Which means you have to get me FaceTime with Alexander Ekrom. Can't you do this one on your own? Oh, sure. Leave me to start another war with the Albs. Real smart. You're not filling me with confidence here. Just shut your pie hole and take me to Ekrom. From what I hear, he spends most of his time in the Ignodon ruins. That doesn't sound very specific. Let's get going. Oh, one more thing. Uh, this is, um, nasty. She's, uh... Ah, I see that she is a representative of the Morkans. And I see that you're one of those chalky-ass oppressive fucks who thinks he's better than everybody else. Oh, no. Wait. Something's not right here. Don't say a fucking word. I don't get it. What is wrong with you? Are you trying to antagonize the rest of Magalon? Or just see how far you can push them all? I know what I'm doing, okay? What is the point of all this craziness? What's it for? I don't buy that you want to improve relations between the factions. Wouldn't expect you to understand. Your job is to get me in to talk to them. The rest is none of your business. Fine. If that's what it takes. Just got one more call to make anyway. The Berserkers and Tavar. I'll let you know when I'm ready. Then you can decide whether to be a chicken shit or not. There's that diplomatic touch again. You can scurry along now. Time for some weapons training. I think it's about time to pay the Berserkers a visit. You coming? Or what? Can't you get yourself killed without my help? Not this time. I'm done. You're chickening out. Just when things are about to get interesting. Whatever, I can do this without you. So I'll see ya. And thanks for nothing. What do I care? I can take it from here. From now on, just stay out of my way. How is that possible? Wait a second, that's it? So what the hell are you doing here? I got what I wanted, and I don't need you anymore. So what? Not even a clue about what this secret plan is all about? No, so stop asking. If it's pointless yapping you're after, go see your little berserker tramp. Because I sure as shit don't need you right now. Something's not right with Nasty. Nothing in this world is as mysterious as a woman. 
It looks like she's in one of her self-destructive phases happen. again. No point dwelling on it. I should really talk Apparently about it. There's Kaya. Still Angolia. Maybe. I want to ask you something. It's about nasty. Why? Is that tramp causing trouble again? Go on, tell me. What did she do this time? I just don't understand what she's up to. She's been having me take her to all the heads of the different factions. And each time it ends in total disaster. Hardly surprising. She was never one for diplomacy. All right, go on. What happened? The last meeting was with the Berserkers at the fort. What? You took her to see Rat? We never made it that far. All she's done since we got there is watch people coming in and out. Like she's waiting for someone. And you just left her alone there? Well, yeah, why wouldn't I? Have you lost your mind? That woman is volatile. She could explode at any moment. Maybe. But how much damage could one warrior do? You know she was just using you, don't you? This whole diplomacy plan was just a trick, and a poor one at that. Her true purpose has little to do with negotiating with faction leaders. Yeah, I worked that out for myself. But what is her real plan? Well, I can only speculate, but... I've spoken to some of the abandoned, and they described her departure from the fort a few years ago. Believe me, it wasn't pleasant. I wouldn't be surprised if that has something to do with Nasty being back there. What was her crime back when she was an outlaw? That's what's so curious. She didn't do anything. But shortly after the war with the Alps, people started talking behind her back. A number of sordid stories and embarrassing incidents came to light. She went from being feared and respected to being mocked. Her reputation with the outlaws was in ruins. And whatever protection being the Duke of Tavar's twin sister gave her, it was gone. She was suddenly on the hit list of every lowlife who knew how to hold a weapon the right way. Staying at the fort was no longer an option. If she hadn't fled, she would likely have been killed. Why didn't she tell me that sooner? <laughs> As if you'd ever been interested in Nasty's flaws. No, you've always let her get away with whatever she wants. Well, I'd rather not be involved. I mean, just think of everything you've done for her. But why would she want to return now? Her time at the fort is ancient history. I doubt anyone there cares about it. But that doesn't mean she doesn't care. Maybe she just needed time to prepare. She has trained hard since she joined us. And it would seem she's ready. You say Nasty wanted time to prepare. Prepare for what? Why don't you ask her? I've said enough already. I don't want any trouble with her. That would cause nothing but grief and aggravation. And there's no time for that now. We have to talk. Get the hell out! You need me to cut you so you actually get the message? Just stop the craziness, okay? I know what you're planning. Yeah, and what's that? This isn't about diplomacy, or even helping the Morcons. I mean, come on. You don't give a shit about the Morcons or their goals. How would you know? You really think I don't know you by now? You used our time together to be a better fighter. And now, you want to stir up some real trouble with everyone at the fort here. How am I doing? You think you're so smart. Well, you're way off. So this isn't about revenge for what they did to you here when they forced you to leave? Who told you about that? That doesn't matter. What matters is that I actually believed you were trying to bring people together. You really think I'm gonna help you start a war with the Berserkers? The Berserkers? You still think this is about them? No, dumbass. I'm after the shitheels who called themselves my friends. The people I was closest to. The ones who... The ones who stabbed me in the back and took everything I had. Now it's payback time. If they're here, I'll find them. 
Or I'll find someone who knows where they are. Okay. Maybe I can help you find your old buddies. Oh yeah. Huh. Well, maybe now I don't want you to. Too bad. I'm not letting you screw everything up here. I have my own plans, you know. Besides, better to have you on my side than against me. And I'm pretty sure you'd be against me if I left now. You never know. So what exactly happened back there anyway? Well, when we were fighting against the Albs, I spent a lot of time outside the fort. Like the time I helped you at the Ice Palace battle, which, by the way, you seem to have forgotten about. I had to put my own shit on hold, which gave my guys a lot of time to think about stuff. Like how to completely screw me over. Yeah. You turn your back for a second. Yeah, well, I was kind of important back then. Lots of people wanted to bring me down, take my place. Including my so-called allies, the people I trusted the most. They got together with my bodyguards and came up with a plan. And it worked. Those fucks took everything I had. I was on the run for a while. Not a fun time, let me tell you that. That's when I found the Morcons. They might have a screw loose, but at least you know where you stand with them. What have you found out so far? Dan, one of my old bodyguards, was spotted in the Ateris Entertainment District a few days ago. How long have you known that for? Long enough. It didn't seem smart for me to go in there alone. Who knows how many of his asshole pals he has with him. Why did he betray you? What was in it for him? My Alexit. That fucker disappeared with all of it. And how much was that? What do you think? I was the Duke's sister, remember? I knew about every dirty deal, and I always got a piece. Anyway, I let my guard down for a second. It was all he needed to find out where I hid my stash. So yeah, I owe him. He's probably in some crater whorehouse right now, spending my fucking money! I can help. Let's head to the entertainment district. We'll find this old bodyguard of yours. We better get going then. Just like old times. Kicking ass is always more fun when you're along for the ride. You say the sweetest things. Hey, we haven't lost yet, right? Let's make sure it stays that way. This is one sleazy place. Hey, asshole, you're in my way. Hey, Dan, you little shit weasel. Living the high life, huh? Oh, shit, nasty. Fuck. Man, I should have known you'd turn up. Looks like you're swimming in shards. Shame they're not actually yours to spend. Oh, I get it. You must be Nasty's new lapdog. If you think you're getting something out of this, you're gonna be disappointed. Get lost, pal. Mmm, you'd love that, wouldn't you? This? This is your new bodyguard? <laughs> you fucking kidding? This loser can't even lift his weapon! What did you just call me? You want to fight? Hey, no problem. Happy to oblige. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's more like You light. actually once trusted this Dan with your life? Shit, man, you know the score. Once you're dealing with Alexit, anything goes. Still, he's not exactly the loyal type. Wouldn't turn my back on him. Yeah, well, what can I say? It was a shitty time. I made shitty decisions. At least he's not a problem anymore. Anyone else we need to take care of? Take your pick. Almost figured out where one of them is. Another old bodyguard? Your right-hand man, maybe? I'll let you know when I find him. Until then, I've got some training to do.
So yeah, I kind of need your help again. Found someone else in need of payback? Damn right. And this asswipe's really got it coming. So, where are we going this time? It's back to the castle. Matt, that's the bastard's name, is in tight with the clerics now. Okay, fine, whatever. So what did this Mac guy do to you? I don't want to talk about it. If I'm going to help you take down a cleric, I should at least know why. Or you could always go on your own and see how that works out. All right. He spread a bunch of bullshit lies about me. Happy now? So you're going to war with the clerics because some guy was trash-talking you? Yeah, that's right. So, are you in or not? Let's get to the castle and find this guy. Finally. Here it is. Bet you anything we find Matt here. Why so sure? He's a real skirt chaser. If there's women around, that's where he'll be. Come on, baby. You know you want to. You don't get it, do you? You have no idea what you're missing. Believe me. I said, fuck off. Hey. Oh, fuck. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy here? Well, look what the cat dragged in. I'm about to wipe that smug grin off your face. Hey now, what kind of a greeting is that? Don't I get a kiss? At least a hug? Shut the fuck up, Matt. Seems like you pissed off nasty. Not a smart move. Oh, yeah? And who the fuck are you supposed to be? Oh, so sorry. I don't have time for this right now. If you'll excuse me. You're going to stay right where you are. We're gonna settle this right now. Oh, I'm so sick of these fucking jealous assholes. So, what, you wanna mess me up, that it? Listen, you clown. I don't know why you're letting this stupid skank use you, but I can tell you right now, it's not worth it. You think she'd be better in bed with the mouth she has on her? I said shut the fuck up. This guy's getting on my nerves. Finish him off so we can get the hell out of here. With pleasure. Right. We'll see who's left standing when this is all over. So, that was your, uh... He was nothing, okay? We, we had some fun together, and that's all there was to it. Let's not make a big thing about it. He certainly, uh, couldn't, if you know what I mean. Didn't have any trouble running his mouth off, though, telling everyone about us, asshole. Guess he wanted to brag about being with the Duke's sister. Like you said, total asshole. Do we have to keep talking about this? I don't suppose he was the last person on your payback list. Not even close. Once I've figured out where the next one is, you'll be the first to know. Jarts. Hey, come over here. Let me guess. Someone else you want to kick the shit out of? Not just anyone. My other bodyguard. His name's Brew. Been seen scavenging around the Ignadon ruins. Do I even want to know how he pissed you off? I was dumb enough to leave him in charge of business while I was away from the fort. Once he got a taste of power, he didn't want to let it go. Started small, you know, trying to undermine me, being sneaky. Then he decided that was too subtle and just claimed the fort for himself. Any outlaw still loyal to me was kicked out or killed. So yeah, I've been wanting to get back at him for a long time, wouldn't you? I'd tear his guts out, slowly, and I'd enjoy it. Exactly. And that's why we're gonna pay him a little visit. We'll have to be ready to fight as soon as he sees us. He's gonna know I'm not there for a friendly chat. Hey, you. So, uh... 
What's the plan now? What do you mean? Come on. We've known each other long enough, right? Sure, we fight, and we want to kill each other every now and then, but we always stick together in the end. So what do you think? About us? Guess I'm just usually distracted by your butt. Yeah, okay. I can work with that. Right. Let's go find this brew. Yeah. Been wanting to settle this score a long time. He's supposed to be hanging out here somewhere. I know this area. It's pretty dangerous. Then we should watch out. Brew will attack us as soon as he sees us. Alright, stop. Stop. I've had enough of this. Of what? Don't give me that. This thing between us. I mean, do I have to do every fucking thing myself? What, you got nothing to say? I've got plenty to say. Come on. We've known each other long enough, right? So, uh, you want to get down to it? I can't refuse a poet like you. Okay. You and me. It's time. Uh, oh yeah, I just remembered something. Hey, asshole! I got a bone to pick with you! Go on, I'm listening. Don't try sounding all fucking reasonable now! You know exactly what I'm talking about! Let's pretend I don't. It's the same old story with you, isn't it? We get together and- Oh, look, I'm up to my eyeballs and shit! I thought you liked to fight. Isn't that why you're here? You don't have a fucking clue what's going on here! Nobody's forcing you to stay. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Not this time. No fucking way! Oh yeah. Hmm. Dawkins has an incredible level of knowledge about the sky. Fuck, that was intense. Didn't go down easy. I'll give him that. But we got him. That's all that matters. And he was definitely an asshole. You were right. So that's another name off my list. How many left? We're not done yet. That's all I'm gonna say. I'll know where the next one is soon enough. <laughs> She's a real piece of work. She? Yeah. I'll be in touch once I track her down. You okay? Back on your feet now? Looks like it. Then let's go. Follow me. Got it. So, where were we? Well, now things are getting interesting. So was that what you wanted? Couldn't be better. Glad to hear it. With pleasure. Of course. Don't ruin the moment, jackass. Found her. The next name on your list? Yeah. I knew she was somewhere in the fort, but I was always looking in the wrong places. So who is she? Sherry. We were best friends, once. Got up to all sorts of wild shit. Men fell at our feet. And if they got out of line, we ground them under our heels. So she's just like you. That's the scariest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, we had some great times. But then things started to sour. She couldn't handle that I liked men more than I liked her. What'd she do? She got rough with an admirer one night. 
Next day, they found his body in the fort dump. Crows had eaten his eyes. I knew it was her handiwork right away. She could get real crazy. Huh. Anyway, turns out the guy worked for my brother. Pretty high up, too. Sherry knew she was screwed, so she framed me for it. My rep in the fort was already in the toilet, so no one believed my version of the story. And that's why you left the fort? Not like I had a choice. So where is this best friend of yours? I prefer to think of her as my soon-to-be-dead friend. Come on, let's go see if my source was right. This is the place. Sherry's supposed to be living in some old trash heap below the fort. Should've known. It's where all the rats end up. Get out of here, man. I'm closed. Come back tomorrow. Sherry? What? Holy shit. That you, Nasty? Fuck me, you look like shit. <laughs> what are you doing here? I thought you ran off to the grotto with those fucking psychos. I did. But shit, Sherry, what happened to you? You barely look like yourself. What the fuck, bitch? All these years go by and then you just show up to shit on me when I'm ground down to nothing? You think I chose this life? Fuck. When you left, everything went to shit. Fuck off, bitch. You're the one who threw me to the wolves, remember? Or did you forget? I didn't. The whole fucking fort was after my ass. Oh, honey, you know I had no choice. Your bastard brother would have fed me to his fucking jackals if he knew I'd killed his top man. I hoped he'd spare you, at least. I mean, you are his fucking sister. You think I didn't know that shit? I know what an asshole my brother is, okay? You're a big part of the reason I got banished, so admit to that and cut the shit. You abandoned me. I'll never forgive you for that. Oh, come the fuck on! You ditched me, and for a guy. A fucking guy! You know, I... I came here to settle the score with you. But you've obviously been punished enough. I mean, look at you. Let me. All you get is my pity. For a guy. Come on, Jax, we're done here. Let's go. Well, Sherry won't be framing anyone for murder again. Come on, and let's never mention her again. Been trying to think who else might be on your list. Could it be someone's brother, maybe? Figure that out all by yourself, huh? Ah, oh, so I'm right. He was the Duke of Tavar, and the bastard didn't even raise a finger to help me. One word from him and those assholes would have left me alone. But no, he threw me to the wolves instead. Probably even encouraged some of them to come after me. Well, you know where to find him. I'm not quite ready yet. Really? Why do you think I've been training so hard? Logan's a tough son of a bitch. In fact, he's the second biggest asshole I know. This thing won't be easy. I want to be ready, and I mean really ready, before I go up against him. Second biggest? You mean there's someone else to kill after Logan? Everything in its own time, sweetie. I need to train some more. I'll tell you when I'm ready. How's it going? Right behind you. So, any regrets? Guess I'm just usually distracted by your butt. You got it, sweetness. Huh. Uh, oh yeah, I just remembered something. Why don't we just enjoy the moment? You shut your mouth. Okay, I'm ready. Time to find my brother. Oh, okay. 
Is he still off the coast of Caracas? If he isn't, we'll keep on looking until we find him. Follow me. Got it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Not you. You know, I had a feeling I might see your fucking ugly face around here again. Logan, I can see you have a handle on your people. Now, that almost sounds like an insult coming from you. Especially considering everything we've been through together. Really? I don't exactly remember us swinging pickaxes side by side in a mine. I do remember you ordering me around when you were still Duke of Tavar. Yeah, and I'm beginning to suspect you might have had a hand in my downfall, asshole. Bullshit. You know I had nothing to do with it. The Berserkers stormed the fort and chased you out of your own city. I was nowhere near there when that happened. Really? Oh, well, that's all right then. I mean, but you're still the worst kind of asshole there is. You're thinking you're smart, thinking you're tough. Neither is good for your health. Do yourself a solid and fuck off again before I lose my temper. Huh? One more thing. Uh, what is it? Your sister wants to settle the score with you. Oh, really? Well, that's cute. Why doesn't she say that to me herself? You really want to be a big man, huh, Logan? You know exactly why I'm here. How do you still not get this? It was about business. It's always about business. Oh, you let every major figure at the fort jerk you around. I couldn't protect you anymore. I would have been a laughing stock, and my status, my position, wouldn't have meant shit. Business. You fucking pig. I'm your sister. No, you went too far. Now you're gonna pay. Oh, come on. Why wait until now? Huh? Why wait until today to realize you're mad? I mean, what happened to running and hiding? You used to be good at that. But don't tell me this fucking shrimp talked you into it. How about I jam my weapon down your throat and we find out who the little shrimp is? It's about time. <laughs> well, one thing's for sure. You won't be leaving the coast alive. Your brother's dead. Good, backstabbing pig. You can't choose your family, but you can choose how to deal with them. You used to be so close. <laughs> Please. He was always a prick. Anyway, it's done now. That's all that matters. Didn't you say he was only the second biggest asshole you knew? So, who's number one? Wow, you're dumber than I thought. Fuck. I still curse the day we met, you know. What did I ever do to you? It was you who got me into that war. You who let out all that anger inside me, turned me into a wild fucking animal. I never made you do anything you didn't want to. Then, when I finally think you and your shitty little Leave war might be me. worth it after all, you take off with her! And you end up knocking her up. That's... that's what I call the last fucking straw. And saving your life from the Great Death, that doesn't count for anything? Or have you forgotten already? Oh, I remember all right. It's the only reason you're last on my list. But hey, that's all ancient history, right? So let's look at what you've done for me lately, yeah? Sure you helped me cross the names off my list. Gotta admit, you were always there to back me up, so... So thanks for that, at least. Wow. Look who's talking. But in the end, it comes down to this. I think I'll knock you out and drag you to the nearest cave. Wait, so what you're saying is... Don't ruin the moment, jackass. Before you start celebrating, though... I still need some time to think about us. Well, you know where to find me. Always. Hey, don't go stirring shit up when I'm not looking, you hear me? Let me tell you right now. If that harlot ruins everything for you, I don't want to hear about it. Now shut your mouth. Are you jealous? 
You wish. But look at that tramp that way again and I'll kick your nuts off, got it? So? Is it true? You're with that woman now? Yeah, that's right. Hope that's not a problem. There was a time when it might have been. But those days are long gone. All right then. Good luck. You'll need it. I understand you've made a decision about your future with this woman. Oh, you mean be because I, uh... Yeah. I guess I did. Good. Then I know where I... Well, I feel better informed. Thanks. Shit! How do you always get away with it? Anyone else would have their guts spread across half a Magalon by now, but you? Lucky, I guess. So, what now? Hunt down what's left of the Skyans? So, want to find something else to kill? It's like you read my mind. You've seen the way the mutants are walking around now, like they own the place? Can't stand it. Wouldn't mind paying a visit to my special friends, the Cyclops. A big mutant fight would really hit the spot right now. Let's go. <laughs>